So we're on to the last learning goal, which is I can classify attributes of two-dimensional figures. You don't even have to write that down. We just want you to be aware of that. You should have your foldables that you made ahead of time. So really, this one is a little bit different. We're just going to make sure you understand um, what these words mean and see a visual along with it. A so lot here of we vocab. go. Oh, yeah, yeah. So get ready. Here we All go. Right. So the first one is a quadrilateral, and you're going to write it right where Mrs. Van Dam is writing hers. So a quadrilateral is a closed 2D, two-dimensional shape with four straight sides. Will work. It could be a square, rectangle, parallelogram, etc. And this whole foldable is actually dedicated to different types of quadrilaterals. Mm -hmm. So there's an example, and yep. you can make whatever quadrilateral you want. Could look right. like a diamond, too. Yeah. Our next um. one is a parallelogram. A parallelogram is, um, and I don't know if we need to write a quadrilateral because all of these are quadrilaterals, mm -hmm. so just know that. But it has two pairs of parallel sides. Or maybe just for short, I'll say a quad. Yeah, there we go. A quad with, with two pairs of parallel sides. And just to review while Mrs. Van Dam is writing this, parallel means lines that will continue on forever without touching. So now for this one, you do need to be pretty careful of how you draw it. And it's got two pairs, so these two are parallel mm -hmm. and these two are parallel. Yep. And a trapezoid is a quad with exactly one pair of parallel sides. So a parallelogram has two pairs of parallel sides, a trapezoid has one pair. Be pretty careful on how you draw them. This is my favorite trapezoid shape. I'll show you. <laughs> I got. I got to be honest. I don't have a favorite. <laughs> and this, you've got an empty space. Oh in there. yeah! Look at that. You can you put a little doodle or something sure. if you want. Fill it with some shapes. <laughs> or um, a picture of Mrs. Bush and myself. Be fun. <laughs> a rectangle is a parallelogram with four right angles. So you know what a parallelogram already is, has two parallel side, two sets of parallel sides. This one has two sets of parallel sides that have four right angles. And so you notice before I was drawing those little boxes in the corner, that is to show that that is 90 degrees mm -hmm. right angles. So that is a rectangle. Yep. A rhombus is also a parallelogram with four congruent sides. Which brings us to another word. We can just say equal. <laughs> equal mean the same thing. So a parallelogram with four congruent or equal sides. It's sort of hard to draw to be super accurate, but I hope you get the idea here. These mm -hmm. are all congruent, yep. equal. And then a square. Oh, look at that. Last one on this foldable is a rectangle with four equal sides. So if you, sorry, here's square. Rectangle and with four equal sides. And you should have plenty of space for this one. <laughs> you could fill it up with a whole bunch of squares. <laughs> You're going to take this one, put it off to the side, and get out your triangle. Voila. So go ahead and make sure that you've got your name on your triangle one, too. Yes. Make sure you've got your name on all of them. Otherwise, they could get lost. And You don't want that to happen. No, not so much. All right, the first one is an acute triangle. An acute triangle is a triangle with three acute angles. Always remember, acute means less than 90 degrees. Let me say a cute little angle. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Tous. If you know acute is a little angle, an obtuse angle is a big angle. So a triangle with an obtuse angle. You can only have one obtuse angle. <laughs> so a triangle with one obtuse angle. Then you should have, this is probably the most common one, something mm -hmm. like that. Something like that, and you can see the big <laughs> angle in there. Big. Yep. So then a right triangle, you can probably guess, is a triangle with one right angle. All right, equilateral triangle is oh, a triangle. Your blank spot. Yep. Okay. <laughs> a triangle with three equal sides. A triangle. And the way that you show equal sides, you might have saw that on the quadrilateral one, is you see a line going through the sides, and if it's just one line going through three sides, that means all three of the sides are equal. If it was like on a rectangle or something, we could have one line on opposite sides and then two lines on the opposite mm. sides, but this mm -hmm. shows that they are all equal. All right, the next one is Ooh. an isosceles triangle, a fun one to which say. is a triangle with two sides that are the same length. 
I'm thinking of like a right angle again. Like these two could be perfectly equal, and mm -hmm. then you just connect them that way. That yep. might be an easy way to make an isosceles. Yep. And then the last one on there is a scalene triangle. And you may have guessed equilateral has three sides that are the same. Isosceles has two. Scalene has none. A scalene triangle has no sides the same length. All right. And on to your last one. Last one is two-dimensional attributes. So these are attributes Ooh. that you will find in a whole bunch of different oh. two-dimensional shapes. Let me show you a little name here. Yep. The first one is polygon. Mm -hmm. which is a closed two-dimensional shape made from line segments that do not cross each other. <laughs> made. A closed two-dimensional shape with line segments that do not cross each other. So a circle. Yep. A triangle. Mm -hmm. Any of the ones we've talked about so far would count. A diamond. Right. Those are just a few. You get the it's idea. It's on a roll. All right, so an open shape is a shape that does not start and end at the same point. So there's like a gap in it, almost. So a shape that does not start and end at the same point. So it would be like a triangle that doesn't close. Or a quadrilateral that has a chunk taken out of one of the sides. So it will seem sort of weird to draw this. Mm -hmm. It could be something that just looks like that. Yeah. Or like that. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> And then a closed shape would be the opposite. It's what you mostly would think of. So a closed shape is a shape that starts and ends at the same point. Our next two are concave and convex. So concave is a polygon, which we have, where you can connect two points inside the polygon with a line segment that passes outside the polygon. What? Okay. Yeah, so how are we going to be able to explain this in a way? Um, basically... We can write this definition down, but the picture is what's really going to help you. Yes. So another way to think of this, and we'll draw some examples here in a second, but if your shape has a dent in it, <laughs> that's, that means that it is concave. It's if sort it's of got caving some sort of a in. Dent, yeah, so. Um, so let's say we have a shape that looks like this. Yep. So it says you can connect two points inside the polygon. So Mrs. Van Dam's putting two points. You can connect those. <laughs> Here, let's make my cave a little bit deeper. <laughs> oh, sorry about that. So there's two points on the inside of the shape, and they cross over the into the outside. That means it is concave. It's got this dent in it. Okay, so that is concave. And it could be even something... Well, I was just envisioning a little Pac-Man. Pac mm -hmm. Something like that could work too, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. All right, concave. and then convex um, is basically not concave. <laughs> <laughs> it's the opposite. I mean, that's that's what it says. A polygon that is not concave. So there's no dent. So basically, our normal shapes that we've been making yep. would all work, yep. right? Yep. And then our last one is a Oops. regular polygon and a regular polygon is just uh. any shape where or any polygon where all the sides and angles are equal or congruent so a square is an example of a regular polygon any polygon in which all sides and all angles are equal so when you see like a stop sign and it has all eight sides of the stop sign are equal that is a regular polygon or regular octagon. Some of you might be really good at that. I'm going to stick with a good old square. Mm -hmm. And then you would want to mark it so it's oh. all the four sides. And that's it. I know this was a little bit Woo! longer, but it was not so much thinking and lots of writing. So yes. hopefully you're still doing all right. So <laughs> good luck, and we will check these over tomorrow.